Hello, Nora. Hello. And welcome to Radio Monte Carlo. Welcome to Monte Carlo Nights. Thank you. Hey, Nora, you've played in Italy many times. You've been here many times. But I mean, what comes to mind when you think about Italians and coming to Italy? Oh, well, eating, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's one of our favorite places to tour and eat in. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, so, so food is, uh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Allora, quando pensa all'Italia, deve venire a suonare in Italia, le dice, penso sempre al cibo, e dice, è un posto anche bellissimo. So tell, tell us briefly about this song, uh, Good Morning, which just opens mm -hmm. uh, your new album. Uh, it's a song you co-wrote, or did you write this on your own, this one? Uh, well, the whole album I wrote with Danger Mouse, who produced it, and um, it was really fun. I went out to L.A., and I... We, we worked about five days a week for two months and we wrote all the songs together and played a lot of the instruments, so it's a real collaboration. Mm, five days a week for two months, that's a lot of work in the studio. Yeah, yeah but, but it was like having a, day, a real job, <laughs> a normal job. Allora dice, guarda, tutto il CD l'ha co-scritto con Danger Mouse, l'hai detto, è andato a Los Angeles e hanno lavorato cinque giorni al giorno per due mesi per fare questo progetto. Lei dice, era un po' come avere un lavoro normale. So, uh, Happy Pills, that actually is the first single, I think, mm -hmm. from the album, Nara. Yes. Tell us about Happy Pills. I mean, you, you like Happy Pills or no. it's against Happy Pills? No, no, no. The, the line in the song, uh, with you gone, I'm alive, makes me feel like I took Happy Pills. So, it's not about taking them. It's just about feeling happy. <laughs> yeah. Nora dice, infatti, non è una canzone che parla di prendere le pillole per renderti felice, ma è una canzone che parla di, di sentirti felice, perché c'è una, una linea nella canzone dal testo che dice, eh, si parla di essere uh, molto, molto felice. Tell us about the artwork, the cover of the album. It's mm -hmm. quite interesting, this photo of you. Uh, I believe it comes from an old poster or something. Yeah, right? it comes from a Russ Meyer film poster uh, called Mud Honey. And um, it was in the studio, hanging over where we were writing all the songs. And um, so in a way, it, it was kind of present during the whole writing and making of the record. And I just loved it. I thought it was very interesting. You know, it was a little bit scary, but also sexy, but also mysterious. But a lot of different feelings come to my mind when I look at that picture. So I thought it would be fun to recreate it. Allora, mm -hmm. la copertina del disco di Nora, che è molto particolare fra l'altro, viene da un manifesto che era nello studio di Danger Mouse. Lei diceva, lo vedevo tutti i giorni questo manifesto, allora quando lo vedevo mi è venuto in mente di usare questo che era di un film, si chiama Mud Honey, uh, e lei ha usato questo. Ho, ho letto un articolo dove parlano di Danger Mouse come una specie di Woody Allen. I was reading an article about Danger Mouse, I mean he's worked as well with so many different artists and uh, musicians, where they compared him a bit to Woody Allen. Yeah. And, uh, uh, he saw is he liked this idea of being compared to Woody Allen because he's so original Woody Allen mm -hmm. and uh, he likes this idea of him being in that kind of vein mm -hmm. musically would you agree Danger Mouse is a bit like a Woody Allen in the music business I mean yeah I don't know if I'd go so far as to name names of who he's like but I could see why somebody would say that yeah he kind of does whatever he wants and everything he does is very interesting and unique and has its own voice sort of yeah mm -hmm. Hanno comparato uh, Danger Mouse anche a Woody Allen per il suo modo di lavorare e dice non userei un nome però sicuramente lui è molto originale. Vediamo cosa lei ha portato via di questa esperienza con Danger Mouse. So, uh, I mean, when you work with someone new, you know, usually you always learn something new and you mm -hmm. take away something. What did you take away from this experience working with him as producer on your music, on your record? Well, I learned a lot. I mean, it's always interesting writing songs with somebody else because everybody has their own go-to things that they they use as tools to write with and um, so just writing with someone who has a different mind is is interesting I'm sure I took a lot away from from just writing with him you know from chord progressions to lyric ideas or like I you know thinking about how to craft a song um, and sonically I mean I definitely loved what he did sonically to everything. I mean, even on s songs where I just played acoustic guitar and sang, it sounds different. It sounds a little spooky. He treats everything with something, <laughs> you know. Dice, sicuramente ho portato via di questa esperienza con Danger Mouse eh, un modo diverso anche di scrivere canzoni, anche le, eh, per esempio il suo modo di usare gli effetti sonori è molto, molto affascinante e molto interessante. Ho usato molto quello. Nora Jones on Radio Monte Carlo con Nick Tanafai. Thanks very much, Thank Nora. Thank you. All the best. Thanks. Bye. Bye.